let us go read this one only some more passages we will read it for david after he had served the purpose of god in his own generation died was laid beside his ancestors and experienced corruption now saint paul says jesus is not corrupted his body was raised even david his body was corrupted and died and he died and is decayed but jesus body was not so he is also stressing on resurrection so strongly because he was 100% sure jesus is alive because he had met him he had met him on the way to damascus therefore he was 100% convinced and that is why he said even david was corrupted but not jesus it was 37 but he whom god raised up experienced no corruption was 38 let it be known to you therefore my brothers that through this man forgiveness of sins is proclaimed to you through this man forgiveness of sins is pro proclaimed to you next one by this jesus everyone who believes is set free from all those sins from which you could not be freed by the law of moses everyone who believes in jesus christ will be set free from all the sins saint paul publicly declares everyone who believes in jesus christ and accept jesus christ as the lord and savior you will be freed from the clutches of the sin verse 30, 40 beware therefore that what the prophet said does not happen to you so be very careful so he is giving two promise one is promise and one is warning promise is those who believe you will be set free warning next one look you scoffers be amazed and perish for in your days i am doing a work a work that you will never believe even if someone tells you see there is a prophecy here from the old testament and saint paul is quoting this bible passage and he said there is a work that i'm going to do none of you are going to believe unbelievable work but if you don't believe you will perish was even if someone tells you you will not believe so saint paul says i'm telling you you're not believing it but it is already prophesied that when i say you will not believe it let's read what was 42 let's read as paul and barnabas were going out the people urged them to speak about these things again the next sabbath so people were so encouraged amazed they were so excited exalted they were so happy and as paul and barnabas were going out they said they urged him come again for another retreat so they were encouraging them encouraging them and telling them come back next sabbath day we all will be there and then they encouraged them verse 43 when the meeting of the synagogue broke up many jews and devout converts to judaism followed paul and barnabas who spoke to them and urged them to continue in the grace of god so when the meeting of the synagogue broke up many people many jewish people and devout converts to judaism they followed jesus paul and barnabas 44 let's read the next sabbath almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of god so the last one day retreat was so successful and now is a big convention so the whole city has come together because they were so happy to hear the preaching. Verse 45. So, but when the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and blaspheming. They contradicted what was spoken by Paul. But when they saw the crowd, they were jealousy. The, some people were not happy because crowd is too much. So some people, that means these Jewish people, they were not pleasing. They were not... Uh, you know believing or pleasing god but they were pleasing for popularity when they saw the popularity is going they were upset they were disturbed praise the lord and but when the jews saw the crowds they were filled with jealousy and blaspheming they contradicted what was spoken by paul they disputed with paul and was 46 continue reading was 46 then po both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly saying it was necessary that the word of God should be spoken first to you since you reject it and judge yourselves to be unworthy of eternal life. We are now turning to the Gentiles. They were not happy. Why these Jewish people were jealous of these people? Because this salvation with which they were speaking about Jesus, they were ready to accept they were ready to accept but now they are not ready to accept because gentiles are given priority gentiles are taken into their group 
which many jewish people could not accept they said salvation is only for jewish people only jewish people are beloved children of god the others are supposed to be rejected why are you taking the jew gentiles inside that was the reason the jewish people were not happy and they were jealous of and paul and barnabas they were refuting against paul and barnabas then paul said it was true that the salvation the word of god was given to the jewish first but since you rejected it now it is given to the gentiles because jesus himself said in the last day even the prostitutes and adulterers and all these people will be sitting in the kingdom of god because you did not the one who is selected and invited did not come for the banquet so the wedding feast of the lamb in the wedding feast god the kingdom of god is like a wedding feast feast and some people were invited but they did not turn up therefore god is going and collecting all the beggars from the road side and given them the wedding feast so the same thing is happening here there are some people who are already invited that is jewish people they did not turn up therefore god is going to the streets and collecting all the gentiles jesus already prophesied whatever that is going to happen now saint paul is doing the same thing praise the lord so we are now turning to the gentiles what was 47 for so the lord has commanded us saying i have set you be a light for the gentiles so that you may bring salvation to the ends of the earth was 48 when the gentiles heard this they were glad and praised the word of the lord they praising word of the lord the word of god changed them word of god was brought to them and they praised the word of god and as many as had been destined for eternal life became believers 49 thus the word of the lord spread throughout the region now listen very carefully it's very interesting the, they praised the word of god the word of god spread all over the city the throughout the region but remember there was no bible there was no bible at this time when saint paul was preaching saint john mark was preaching saint barnabas was preaching there was no bible no written form because the first bibles were written only after 50s this is happening 35 uh, ad 35 to 40 and 40 uh, 44 to in between those time so the gospels were written much later now which is this word of god spread today when we say word of god spread means bible spread but those days bible was not existing the new testament was not existing only old testament was existing the new testament was not at written down then which word of god and that is nothing but all the word of god which the apostles heard he is handed over to saint paul saint mark and saint barnabas and they whatever they collected from the apostles which they had in their mind preached and later some of them wrote it down that is what we call bible so the bible comes from the tradition bible doesn't come first the new testament doesn't come first the tradition the apostles the people came first and the te- bible say the new testament came second therefore anybody who wants to idolize bible that is also not accepted jesus is the foundation not the word of god is the foundation but the word became flesh is the foundation praise the lord not the bible is the foundation but the one who gave us the bible is the foundation praise the lord so this is where the catholics and protestants have dispute the protestants wants to make the bible the foundation but the catholic church it is not the word that is foundation the person is foundation jesus christ who came first first than the bible that new testament when i say speak your bible is new testament i'm talking about praise the lord so when pre- saint paul was preaching saint peter was preaching there was no bible new testament was not there only the teaching which was handed over to apostles which they had collected in their mind which they could remember they preached 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 and that is what they called word of the lord and miracles were happening when they heard the words word of god praise the lord thank you jesus was 50 let's read 
but the jews incited the devout women of high standing and the leading men of the city and stirred up persecution against paul and barnabas and drove them out of their region some jewish people they instigated people and said these people should not be accepted chase them out praise the lord some people they don't want to change they don't want to change their life because the christ the christians are not changing the attitude towards the gentiles if the gentiles were not admitted the jewish people were ready to come some people are like that they are not ready to change because they don't want to change the attitude towards others they are not ready to change they don't they don't want to follow jesus because they don't want to change the attitude the animosity you know the jewish people hated gentiles only for that reason they did not accept jesus some people they don't want to believe in jesus and change their life because they cannot accept their husband as they cannot ac- accept their wife they cannot accept their enemies therefore they say i don't want to come for a retreat i don't want to go for holy mass i don't want to believe in jesus christ because they cannot if i accept jesus i have to forgive them is better i don't accept jesus because i rather continue in hatred many people many jewish people did not believe in jesus or did not follow christianity because they preferred animosity against the gentiles better than believing in jesus praise the lord so my dear brothers and sisters let's continue reading so they took the dust off their feet in protest against them when then these instig they instigated so badly that pit and john and i mean uh, paul could not stay there anymore they left but before leaving they took shook the dust of their feet in protest against them and went to iconium why the, why did they dust off their feet because jesus told them you know they are following exactly what jesus told them when somebody did not accept you are supposed to dust off we read like this in the word of god praise the lord matthew chapter 10 verse 40 14 matthew 10 for if anyone will not welcome you or listen to your words shake off the dust from your feet as you leave that house or town so saint paul did the same praise the lord and let's go back to 52 and the disciples were filled with joy and with the holy spirit normally when you are rejected and wounded and chased out of a place you are supposed to be disappointed and give up give up the ministry but here when they were chased out when they were rebuked when they were insulted when they were asked to leave a place they were filled with joy and the holy spirit my dear brothers and sisters the power of the holy spirit will be manifested when you are persecuted when the power of the holy spirit anointing of the holy spirit joy will take and control of you when you are persecuted not when you are given the red carpet when you are persecuted that is when your joy and the power of the holy spirit will overshadow you always remember welcome the persecution so that the joy and the holy spirit will remain with you forever